Grove Fire Department has a new machine that could mean the difference in saving lives. Yeah, TV6's Joshua Blount got to see the new tech up close today. Josh, how does this make CPR even more effective? Listen, unlike the movies, the crews at Long Grove Fire Department say CPR takes several minutes, which can get exhausting for humans. Now that exhaustion leads to inconsistency in CPR, but machines like this don't get tired and can save lives in the process. The Lucas chest compression system gives automatic chest compression for close to an hour on a single charge. Chief Joshua Rowe is no stranger to CPR after 20 years on the force and knows CPR can be draining for people to do. Doing the hands on, it gets tired and I'm not a little guy, you know, and for myself I still get tired real quick so it's, uh, it's going to save that to where we can use, you know, fewer people to say and get the same same quality. The new machine also makes things safer when these first responders are on the move. Transport, we can be safer on transport. We don't have to have somebody standing over the patient doing CPR while they're running down the road in the rig. The tech comes at a key time for the department as more people are moving to the area, which means more calls for service. In hopes that we can, you know, maybe assist them you know, and having a, a better chance on somebody living, you know, and, and having high quality CPR when they get there and they can start administering drugs and doing airways and other things. Which is key for a department that doesn't always have a lot of staff on hand. We've had, you know, rounds that we've only been able to run two guys during the day or, you know, even in the evening, two people. Um, and it's most definitely gotten tired and fatigued. And, and even though everyone on the department can do CPR if the machine is with another crew, the new options are a positive change. It's changing for the better. I mean, we're, we're getting better, uh, better quality CPR in this case, and we're saving more lives. And now, Long Grove Fire Department says they are currently the only volunteer fire department in the county with this machine. Josh, thank you. And the department says the machine was mostly paid for through a grant from the Scott County Regional Authority.